Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how you can use Postradamus to find viral content from different sources or create your own content for your posts. Postradamus allows you to search many different sites from one central place, and it also allows you to save any content you find with just the click of a button. First search option we'll explore is searching for content on the web. Postradamus can pull in content from a lot of different platforms. For example, you can search Facebook or Twitter for posts, YouTube for videos, Amazon for products, Pixabay for free photos, and more. To search in Postradamus, you will use keywords or phrases. For example, if you want to look for content about pandas, you will use the keyword panda or the phrase cute panda. If you want to search for chocolate cakes, you will probably use keywords like chocolate or cake or just the whole phrase chocolate cake. Some sites will have additional search options, which you can see below or above the search bar. Below every search box, you will see this box, Don't show content, I've already saved. This filter has a purpose if you have already searched for a certain type of content from Postradamus and saved this content. Leaving this checkbox checked means that you do not want to see the posts that you have already saved in your list in Postradamus. And turning it off means that you will see all search results, including the ones that you have saved before. Let's look at the search results now. Every search result is shown as a post in Postradamus. Each post has three options, select, send now, and delete. Select is used to choose the post that you would like to save, and you can also use the select all button to select all posts from current search results. Selected posts can be saved to a list that you specify, but we will go over lists in the next video. Send Now will allow you to instantly, manually, send this post to one of your social sites. You will also be able to edit the post before sending it. And finally, if you delete a post, it means that it will no longer be shown to you in the search results once you run the search again. Here in the corner, you will see sorting options. You can sort search results by different criteria, ascending or descending. The second search option is Find on Computer. This option is used for uploading images from your own computer to Postradamus and turning them into posts. You can drag and drop images in this window, or you can click and select images manually. The maximum file size for images is 6 megabytes. If you upload an image that's larger than that, you will want to try resizing the image before you upload it again. And if you want to remove one of the uploaded images, just click Remove File. The next search option is Searching Existing Lists. This option is useful when you've already created lists in Postradamus and you want to duplicate some of the posts or reuse them in a new list. Click on the drop-down to select the specific list that you want to see the posts from, and you can further filter your search by specifying the text that appears in the post, the category that was assigned to the post, and so on. And the final option is importing content from a CSV file. This method allows the most customization, and it's definitely recommended if you want to create your own content. We made a separate video about importing and exporting CSV files, so you can refer to it for more in-depth instructions. You can simply drag and drop a CSV file in this window, and Postradamus will convert each row into a post. In the next video, you will see how to use the posts that you have found and selected, and how to add them to a list.